Not sure what that guy was doing, but I am back in the bus station. This time I'm going to Brasilia. Same bus company, same everything. 20 hours. It's gonna be rough. But uh, well, a second, I'm going the wrong way. Cuiaba was really nice. Uh, it's definitely more uh, less planned than the other cities that I've been to. But um, my hosts were really, really nice people. Them, their friends, they were all very friendly. I had a good time here. It's time to go. Time to go to the next stop. So guys, this trip to Brasilia is 20 hours and I am 8 hours into the trip. So we stopped to eat. They have this restaurant here in this city. I don't know what city we're at. But like always, you it's a buffet. You put your food and they wait it and then they charge you. It's pretty good though. Like. So guys, we have arrived to Brasilia. The trip here was so long. It took 20, 25 hours, a whole day to get here. It was crazy. Uh, the bus broke down. First of all, it took, it, the bus was late, an hour and a half. So we got on it, and then as soon as we got on it, we had to go to the mechanic. And then it broke down, so now we're here a day later. It's very nice and calm here. But I'm finally here in Brasilia, which is the capital of Brazil. As you guys can see, this city was built just to be the capital of the country, so it's supposed to be really, really nice. But uh, now I gotta find my couch surfer really, really quick. He might be working, so I might have to be here for a little bit. He, I think he gets off at 4 p.m., so it's already 3, so I only gotta wait one hour. Now, in case you guys don't know, Brasilia is uh, such a, I don't know how to say, such an organized city that it's won prices all over the world. And other cities uh, come here to study their ways or something like that. So let's see how good it is. Right now I'm going to the metro. And the metro should leave me right in front of my host's house. I am in the metro now, you guys. Uh, it was really easy to pay for this. It was three soles, I mean three reales. I mean, it's just like the metro in uh, the metro in Colombia. You buy the card, you put it in, and it takes the card. Um, you can buy more credit, and if you have more credit, it gives you back it gives you back the card, and then you can keep using it till it runs out. Then it keeps it. it. Looks really good. Like I said, very calm. I don't think a lot of people live here because there's not that many people here. I'm here with my host. Hello. What's up, man? What's your name? Clayton. Clayton. And how many people have you hosted before? I have people here mm -hmm. in Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, four million people. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's four million people in Brazil? Yeah. Well, that's more than I, I thought. think. But like, how many people have you hosted Around in your house? Four people four in people. my house. Ah, okay. It's a different culture. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. That's oh, a lot of people. Yeah, it's a different culture. Ah, okay. My job is teacher mm -hmm. in Portuguese. Okay. So yeah, he speaks English, Spanish, and Portuguese, <laughs> which is pretty good. And today I'm not going to do anything. Um, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. He showed me, I have this map too. And he showed me all the things that I have to do, so tomorrow will be a busy day. And then Saturday we might go uh, to his grandma's uh, town. So guys, we came to a really nice gym actually. Well, they won't let me exercise because I need a doctor's note to exercise. From Mexico all the way down here, this is the nicest gym I've seen. I'm telling you guys, Brazil works out a lot. 